Edwards Virginia Smokehouse presents the Cured Meat Podcast. Today's question is, what types of casings are used for pork sausages? Well, in Edwards' case, we use a natural casing. Uh, natural casings are the intestines of the pig. The size ranges from the, the, the size of your little finger, the smaller uh, intestines and the larger intestines. And then um, most our most popular sausage, smoked sausage and fresh link sausage is... Uh, uh, the middle range of the casing size, a 34, 37 millimeter, and it's natural. So it has a, uh, I think, a, a much better taste with the sausage versus an artificial casing. Um, we also, uh, for the smaller encasing that comes from pigs, that's used to make a breakfast link, like a one ounce link, but also from sheep, actually, uh, the smaller casing that's used, which, you know, is considered a delicacy by some, but most of the small one ounce breakfast links that you see in a restaurant are made with collagen casing, which is made from uh, beef and, and pork hides, skin, uh, collagen. And that the, the advantage in that is it's a very consistent size. So when you're making a link, you get a very consistent weight and length where natural, it's going to vary. But the advantages in flavor, in my opinion, make the natural casing a better choice for us because we're more about flavor versus consistent size. Uh, restaurants don't necessarily like that, but that's, you know, we do the best we can. We're pretty good at it, actually, you know, getting the links to weigh the same uh, through, through uh, uh, actually a very skilled operator that, that actually stuffs the sausage into the casing. But there's going back to the casing types, uh, there's a fibrous casing also that's used with certain sausages that literally is peeled off. Like when you make hot dogs, I mean, I've actually seen some hot dog manufacturers that it looks like plastic. And when they finish stuffing the sausage, uh, stuffing the hot dog meat into the casing, uh, smoke it and then and cook it in the smokehouse and comes out and they have what they have. A, it's called a peeler. It's a mechanical device that literally pulls that plastic off of the hot dog and cuts the links. Um, again, that's a, a a pig on Monday and a hot dog on your plate Tuesday night. So it's a pretty quick operation. Um, the other advantage, in my opinion, with a natural casing is the bite. Gives you that snap when you bite into it. Some of the collagen casings, uh, eh, a little tough. I think, and they, they have kind of a papery bite or feel to them in your mouth when you're eating. Um, by the way, fibrous casings are also used to stuff ham parts. You take pork and you stuff it into this fibrous casing that might be, I don't know, 10 inches in diameter to make a, quote, baked ham. Uh, but, you know, if going back to us, I think the sausage... Um, well, not I think. I know all the sausages we make, we use a natural casing. Uh, and those who are vegetarians, I believe they also make a vegetarian, which makes no sense, a vegetarian casing to stuff meat in. <laughs> but uh, maybe maybe they're making a, a breakfast sausage now that's all vegetarian and that casing becomes in handy in that stretch. But I did see an article about how they're using vegetarian casings or plant-based casings to stuff meat into. But that's about all I know about casings. Oh, and also when we make a dandoodle, that is the large intestine, um, the bung, so to speak. Uh, it's about the size when you stuff about two pounds of sausage into it, it's about the size of a softball when you finish it. Uh, that's, that's the most flavorful part of the casing uh, world. That pretty much covers it from one end to the other. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's really the key is, you know, when you think about it, it, this all goes back to, you know, centuries ago when you use every part of the animal. So, you know, you put your hogs down and you take your hams and your shoulders and your bellies and whatever you're going to cure and smoke, whatever. You put that to one side, you eat fresh for a while, then all the trim you would grind up and you needed something to stuff it in. And... You know, it's really uh, for, 
from from one end to the other, from the gut to the to the tail end, the intestine just works, uh, and it's right there already in the animal. So you don't need to go out and find anything else uh, to go it. So it's you know from the small intestine for casing to the large intestine where you start getting into chitlins and wonderful things like that. And then as Sam mentioned, you know the bung uh, that we use for uh, the Dan Doodle. Uh, you know, the, the key is making sure, uh, and Sam really hit it on the head. I mean, you get a really nice snap out of a natural casing that I don't think you get out of a collagen casing. They do tend to paper and almost, it almost looks like they peel off if they've seen any temperature abuse, especially if they go near water. You can definitely tell when you're looking at a natural casing or a, a collagen casing. Uh, the natural casing, it does just have this incredible snap. And I think that's really what makes our smoked sausages so unique out there. And a lot of chefs that I work with actually comment about that. That's what they're looking for. It brings something unique to the plate that you can't find with the collagen casings out there. Um, you know, and it's just, it's, it's a tradition, not so much a tradition. It was, you know, necessity and using the entire animal, um, so you could take those tr the, the the trimmings and stuff it into something that the good lord's already provided with the animal and stuff it hang it smoke it and preserve so you have uh something else to eat other than just ham and bacon throughout the year so it's uh it does definitely make a difference i think uh you know uniformity wise it does get a little more challenging with the natural casing as sam said uh but I think there's something that it, it definitely unique that it brings to the flavor profile, the bite, the overall experience of, of the sausage itself. Yeah, one other point I want to bring up about collagen casings too. One of the uh, companies, you know, they're always trying to come up with new products that help in the, especially the restaurant industry. So one of the collagen casings that came out was called Super Fry that, and I believe a lot of people are using it now, but it's designed to put on a stuffed sausage into and use in a deep fryer. So you can dump a whole box of sausage links in a deep fryer and it can withstand that kind of high heat grease cooking and not split. If you put natural casings in something like that, the, the casing would just pop open because it's too tender. But this collagen casing is, is designed to withstand that high heat and actually helps tenderize the sausage. The guy that's operating it, does like cooking French fries. You know, you, you dump them in these baskets just like a French fryer. And, and, and if you don't pull them at the right time, they're ruined. It's the same thing you can do with French fries. So, uh, yeah. So there's all kinds of reasons why people develop what they develop. But that, I remember that coming out as a super fry. And for high-volume restaurants, they cook a ton of sausage. That's that's what they use. Yum. <laughs> Got a cured meat question? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.